Hey team, hey Neopians. Quick and dirty video tonight because we have a lot of stuff happening on Neopets.com. And I really wanted to talk about it in real time while it was happening because it's wild. And honestly, when stuff like this happens, this is my favorite time to play the game. The last couple weeks I've been kind of burnt out on Neopets, but then the Void Within gave us tea time with Tavi and I'm back, baby. We're so back. So at reset today, today is October 22nd, we got a new daily. If you've been playing the plot so far, you've played some of these mini games, Void Works, Cozy Campfire Collection, and now we have Tea Time. Tea Time is quest based. I can't run through one with you because I've already done all five of mine today, but it's very much like a fairy quest or a kitchen quest. It asks for items, you give the items, and you get a prize. The prize pool is not good, okay? Nobody's getting good prizes from this. What we're getting is an achievement in the Void Within. So when you finish your first five, you get the first stage of the t job achievement. And there's a stage two and a stage three as well. So this is really what we're playing for since the prize pool isn't good. And that's not to say they couldn't update the prize pool because we've already had a few updates since this started and that's why I wanted to talk about it. It seems pretty simple. Quest, ask for item. The pool of items that were in the original quest pool are low value. It's asking for low rarity tea items from the coffee shop and from foods, low rarity fire wearables and fire items from places like Cogs Togs. All very harmless stuff that when TNT looked at, they saw had no value and wasn't being used by anyone. But what TNT fails to take into account over and over, and honestly, even if they do take it into account, I don't know what they're supposed to do about this. But what always switches things up is how unhinged the Neopets community is. Because within the first hour of this update, within the first hour of this new daily, every single item in the quest pool that was being asked for skyrocketed in price so let's look at the quest pool here and see now the quest pool has already been updated since the initial release because of this so finally new items are being added into the pool that aren't crazy expensive but last night when everything dropped prices went insane let me try to look at a few things with you let's i'll, I'll show you exactly where i hung out last night for restocking so for me, it was the fire items in Cogs Togs. I spent about an hour restocking at Reset because all of these items in Cogs Togs, Drake Fire items, Fire Acura, Fire Bori, Fire Chombi, Fire Elefante, all these items that are completely useless and were worth like 2K yesterday, all skyrocketed to max shop value. I was selling Elefante tusks for a mill. I was selling Chombi spikes for a mill. It's insane. It was immediate and it was wild. Everybody in the Discord has been making a month's worth of their usual Neo points in a day because of this event. And it's a mixed bag, right? You have the people excited to be making some Neo points, and then you have the people frustrated that all of these useless items skyrocketed in price. And their frustration is a little bit justified because there's this thing that always happens when we get these types of quests where it's not just the user base buying up these items to fulfill their quests, it's resellers, right? When the quests requested items first came out, it was a very small pool. It was pretty much items with the word fire in it and items with the word tea in it. And it was small enough that resellers were able to pinpoint these items and buy up all the stock off the shop wizard immediately making it scarce and being able to sell it for huge, huge, huge profit. This isn't something I do. I don't really like the idea of it. I was just kind of receiving more of the benefits on the back end of restocking these items from Cogs Talks and selling them at this insane price that the resellers created. But it is an interesting issue that comes up over and over again when we get events like this. A big problem we have in this game is that there are a number of very powerful players that have a lot of Neo points and nothing to do with them other than scheme ways to make that number go up. Number go up is like a main play style for 
And I know they made huge profits when Tea Time came out last night. So to TNT's credit, they did respond very, very quickly in adding more items to the pool. As of right now, later in the evening, it's no longer just these fire and tea items. We've got a lot more stuff that it's asking for, a lot more junk too, which is good. We're always saying that we need more ways to get rid of junk on the site. And I think this is a really good one. But the, the thing is, is the way that some users just have the ability to buy up the entire stock. Oh, another thing uh, that changed. Not only the requested item pool was updated, originally Tavi could ask you for between two and four items, and now the quest only asks you for one item. So now it's a one-to-one. -one. So that's a big change as well. And then they also changed the requested items pool. Oh, I don't know if it says when the prize pool it's or the requested item pool itself updated. Why do I keep saying prize pool? I'm not sure when it updated, but definitely in the middle of the day after the chaos was going on for, for a few hours. But yeah, some of these items. Chai tea was 1.5k yesterday, skyrocketed to almost unbuyable. A rarity 70 item, mind you. Candy corn latte. Oh, see, that's a higher rarity item that just wasn't used for anything. That looks like it's starting to skyrocket as well. So candy corn is another keyword here. And then you can also see some of the ones that must have been released later in the day. Cheops plant, chill pill. Ooh, I wonder if chill pill is going to go up. That might be a good item to restock for a little while, question mark. It's holding steady. I think we're okay. Dandelion tea. Not that rare. Skyrocketed from 2k to unbuyable. All these tea items overnight. All these fire items, like I was saying. Cogs Togs was fun this morning. Fire saxophone. That's crazy. Yeah, look at these. Uh, look at these instruments. These useless instruments from the from the music shop are now unbuyable. What? It's just been really chaotic. But if you're a restocker or if the site has started to stagnate for you a little bit like it has for me. It's been really fun. I personally, this might be a hot take, but I personally am somebody who likes when the economy gets turned on its head like this. I find when things like this happen, there's a lot of opportunity for people who might not have a lot of Neo points to kind of get in on a gold rush situation like this and bridge the gap of the wealth gap on Neopets a little bit by playing through some of these events. So yeah, I think right now is a really good time to kind of dive in, look through the requested items pool, see some of these rarities, these low rarities, and go restocking, go have some fun. Look at all this tea. Nobody restocked in the coffee shop before today. And now it's a great place to hang out. Gormball bubble tea. This is one of my favorite items, obviously, because it's a grendo. Look how much it's worth right now. Rarity 70, like, Get in the coffee shop, people. Get in Cogs Togs. We're having a good time. And it may be frustrating if you're on the other side, right? And you're trying to finish these quests for your achievement. But you can retry every four hours. Once you quote unquote fail your quest, you can just accept a new one. And eventually you will get something that isn't hyperinflated so that we can all get our terrific achievement. It'll We'll all get there. If you're feeling frustrated, and you're feeling a bit of FOMO, I get it, but you have a lot of time to complete this. The problem in terms of reseller inflation, I don't know how to fix that. It all comes down to just a player base that has a lot of Neo points, but doesn't necessarily care to use them on anything. And I don't know how we get those kinds of players to spend. It's something we talk about a lot in the Discord. Would some kind of premium bond situation get those types of users to spend. If you're not familiar with games that have this kind of mechanic, um, I'll give you an example. So on RuneScape, which is another game with a crazy volatile economy, you can, with real money, I think it's around $5, buy a bond. You then can take this bond and sell it in-game for in-game currency. So in Neopets, that would translate to maybe in the NC mall, they offer this type of premium item. It's five bucks, 500 NC, whatever you want to say. Users can buy this for $5, sell it back to the player base for an amount of Neo points that is determined, you know, by the Neopets economy. 
And then when that user buys the premium item with their Neo points, they can redeem it for a couple weeks of premium or a month of premium, whatever it may be. Maybe that would get these types of users to start spending their Neo points. I don't know. And then it's a way for people with cash to get Neo points in a new way that isn't buying them offline illegally. I don't know, just something I've been thinking about for a little while. I know this video isn't as organized as my scripted ones. I kind of went off on a little bit of a tangent. I will try to uh, organize my thoughts when I edit, <laughs> but I hope that you, you followed my train of thought a little bit. It's just, it's wild when things like this come out. It really does show all it takes to kind of reinvigorate the player base and get us talking and scheming and playing. Just give us a little bit of content. Give us a new a new quest, a new, new items we need to look for. And we're in there, we're in there. I'm in there so hard, you know? So I just wanted to talk about it. I am really curious to hear what y'all think about it too. And I hope you're able to get your quests done without spending too much MP. My advice would be don't spend the one mil on uh, Chompy Spikes from COGS. Get in there, get in COGS. You can get it. If you restock for an hour, you can get the item you need, okay? I believe in you. This is the time. I love you all so much. Thank you for hanging out with me again. Good luck at tea time. You're all my favorite. Bye-bye.